Hey, hello. Hope you are all doing well. Today I am interested to share something about Omicron because yesterday many of my friends have called me and uh, they were asking many questions regarding Omicron and all our body in regard to Omicron. So I thought it's better to do a video and share for a large number of people because all men are friends who are doctors. So I will discuss many aspects regarding the uh, Omicron. Uh, the topics would be like uh, what is Omicron, what is the difference between Delta, Corona and Omicron right? and the next is like the, what are the signs and symptoms of uh, Omicron, what we should do to prevent the Omicron, what are the things we want to do while you are a patient of uh, Omicron and what you want to do after uh, you are getting uh, relieved from Omicron and what the diet will be followed. Omicron, Omicron is one of the mutant variant of COVID-19 virus. And next is like what is the difference between Omicron and the Delta? Delta and Omicron is uh, the same COVID-19 virus, uh, the next generation things, but the variations are they are mutant variants of COVID-19 virus. And compared with Omicron, Delta virus were very severe and the spread is comparatively very less when compared with uh, Omicron, as Omicron is uh, spread is more and the severity of the disease is very less. Then what are the clinical features that is signs and symptoms of Omicron? These are no more different than uh, Delta V. Uh, the symptoms are like uh, sore throat, headache, body pains and uh, like some GE symptoms, indigestion problems, sleeping difficulties and moreover like uh, some other like uh, in diabetic patients there will be like uh, generalized uh, aches and all. And uh, when coming to the treatment part of the Omicron, treatment is also similar to that of uh, Delta wave. Uh, actually, no specific treatment for Omicron is uh, yet uh, given by WHO, but we are giving symptomatic treatment, like uh, one antibiotic is being provided for prophylactic treatment, that is azithromycin, if a patient is suffering from sore throat. And uh, not only azithromycin, based upon symptoms like if he is having cough and expectoration with a purulent smell, then we will be adding uh, amoxiclav 625 mg twice a day. And uh, for fever and body pains, we are giving dolo 650 mg so TID. Next is like uh, immune boosters we are being provided like vitamin C, multivitamins and uh, uh, like uh, others uh, vitamin C. Then others are like uh, 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 ORS supplementation is given uh, daily at least one sachet in one liter of water. Of we are giving like uh, Montelukast and Levocetrogen and the syrup like uh, Ambroxyl or Ascoril D. And uh, uh, it's better to prevent the getting Omicron than suffering from the Omicron. How can we prevent this Omicron? We can prevent this Omicron by following some good uh, hygienic measures like hand wash, having sanitizer regularly and uh, wearing a mask, uh, following social distance and uh, maintaining a good diet so that we can prevent uh, getting Omicron and uh, last but not least that is booster dose and Omicron uh, actually booster dose uh, will not prevent getting Omicron definitely but it will have some effect towards severity we can decrease the severity of infection when we will get a booster dose and uh, the other thing is like uh, uh, I think uh, if any inquiries for you you can comment uh, so that I will be updating you and uh, for further uh, information regarding COVID uh, diet and uh, third wave statistics of COVID in India I will be uploading you in the next coming videos you please subscribe my channel. Thank you.